Ang. Hi everyone! So, start na po tayo ng ating review para sa ating G-Metrics. So, click tayo ng Start a New Test. Ang gagawin natin ngayon is Office 2016 Microsoft Access. Okay? So, napakadami natin dito. Practice Exam and Skill Review. We also have Concept Review. Pero, dito muna tayong mag-try sa ating practice exam. So, click muna yung ating training mode. As you can see, meron na akong existing exam. Pero, kayo, wala pa kayo nyan. So, click start a new test. So, normally, kung unang test nyo pa lang ito, ang itatanong sa inyo is kung i-download nyo ba yung Gmetrix resources, specifically for this activity. So, ayan. Nakalagay kasi sa akin, some active content has been disabled. So, kailangan kong enable yan. Click ko lang enable content. So, ito na ngayon yung ating magiging review. Okay? So, as you can see dito sa baba, we have overview. So, ice cream production, you are the production manager for an ice cream manufacturer specializing in customs flavor. You are updating the Access 2016 database you use to track the various flavors produced. Ang una natin gagawin ay task 1. Nakalagay dyan, create one-to-many relationship between customer number field of the customer table and the buyer field on the orders table. Join should return all customers' records even if they have placed no order. Accept all other default settings. So, let's say you don't know what to do. Since ito ay practice, we have a help button. So, click ko lang yung help. At sa baba, makikita nyo na yung mga instruction. But the problem is, other students doesn't know kung nasan ba tong mga tools na to. So, with this review or with this video lesson, susundan po natin yung mga instruction from G-Metrics. So, yung unang instruction dyan is on database tools tab in the relationship group, click relationship. Punti daw tayo sa database tool. Andito yan sa itaas. So, may ribbon. Then, on the relationship group, click relationships. So, ayan. Ayan na po yung ating relationship pane na tinatawag. In the show table. Okay, so ito. Ito yung list ng ating tables. Ayan, may table din tayo dito. On the table tab, hold control key while clicking your mouse to simultaneously select the customer and orders table. Click add and then click close. Okay, so mag add daw tayo ng mga table dito sa ating relationship pane. Ayan, so ang gagawin daw ay i-click ko yung customer, tapos click or press your control sa ating keyboard, tapos i-click yung order, then i-drag po natin, kinlik ko, nakahold ako sa mouse ko, i-drag ko papunta dito sa relationship pane. So, ayan yung unang pinapagawa. So, let's say ayaw nyo ng ganyang method. Pwede rin yung kiklik ko sa customer, kiklik ko sa order, tapos may nakalagay dito, add selected table. Ayan, nandiyan din sila. Okay? Another pa po is pwede natin yung customer, double click, then double click po si orders. Okay, ganun po. So, kahit alin po sa mga techniques na yan, or shortcut keys is consider naman siya, provided na magagawa nyo po yung pinagagawa kay G-Matrix. Next po tayo, nakalagay dyan, hint, the customer and orders table should now appear in relationship pane. So, nagawa po natin yon, ito ang ating relationship pane. On the design tab, in the tools group, click edit relationship. Okay, so hanapin natin ang ating design tab. Ayan, nasa design tab na tayo. Meron tayo dito nakalagay na edit relationships. So, ayan, edit relationship. Alright? So, ito na yung ating relationship pop-up window. Nakalagay dyan. Sa next na po tayo, in the edit relationship pop-up window, click create new. Ito po ang ating create new. Ayan. 
So, next po tayo is in the create new pop-up window. Click create new. So, configure the following. Ayan, ang sabi doon ay select table name customers. Ayan, select table name customers daw yung ilagay. Sa left column name naman is customer number. Sa right table name, we have orders. At right column name naman, we have buyer. Then, click OK. Ayan. O, ba? Diba? So, next po tayo. Yung 7 naman, nakalagay dyan. In the edit relationship, pop up. Click the join type button. So, ayan si join type. Sa taas po ni create new. So, in the joint properties pop-up window, select number 2. Include all records. So, number 2, ayan. Naklik ko na. Then, press OK. Ayan. Tapos, in the edit relationship pop-up window, click the create button. So, click ko daw tong create. And, that's it. The layout should now show a relationship arrow connecting to customer number to buyer field. Okay? So, ayan po. Connected na sila. So, okay na po tayo sa ating task number 1. So, pagtapos na po kayo, mark complete. Ayan. Makakaroon po ng check sa iba ba ng task. Kung hindi pa naman kayo tapos, click nyo lang itong mark for review. Pero dahil tayo ay tapos na, kinlik ko ulit si mark for review para mawala yung mark for review na ribbon. Next, punta na po tayo sa task number 2. Nakalagay dyan, in daily production table, set the flavor ID field as the primary key. So, ito medyo madalito, pero sundan pa rin natin kahit papano yung nasa help button. So, beneath the table section of the navigation pane, right click the daily production table and select design view. So, ito po yung navigation pane natin, yung ating mga list of tables. Hanapin natin si daily production. Ayan. Then, right click daw kay daily production, tapos design view. So, ito na ngayon si design view. In the design view, beneath the field name, select flavor ID. So, ayan, nakaselect na ako kay flavor ID. On the design tab, in the tools group, click primary key. Again, on the design tab, ayan, design tab, click ko daw si primary key. Okay. So, nung naklik ko siya, nagkaroon siya dito sa tabi ng mini flavor ID na parang suse. Okay. So, nakalagay dyan, hint. A key icon should appear to the left of the flavor ID field, identifying it as primary key. So, okay na po. Tama yung ginawa natin. Meron tayo ditong suse. So, that is the primary key of the database. Right click the daily production tab. Ito po iyon. Then, save. Then, right-click, then close. Okay? Pwede ko muna po bang i-close to? Yes. So, mark complete. Next tayo, task number 3. Configure the database to open with startup form. Name new customers. Do not close the database. Ayan na. So, nakalagay dyan. Huwag daw natin i-close. So, click file tab. Ayan, si file tab. In the left pane, click option. Ayan. Click option. In the access option, pop-up window, in the left pane, select current database. So, where is the current database? Ayan po. Next po tayo. Beneath the application option section, click the down dash arrow next to display form. Okay. Punta daw tayo sa application Sa display form, ito yon So, yung arrow daw, ayan. Click down, new customer. O, oh, diba? So, once na maklik natin yan, dahil ito ay ating hindi makita, may okay button po dyan. So, dahil hindi ko makita yan, dapat ito itataas ko. So, as you can see, nakalagay, duck the test runner to different position. Kailangan kong itap. Kasi hindi ko makita yung okay button. Ito siya. Ayan. So, ang sabi daw, i-OK. So, hint, if prompt to close and reopen the database, click OK, but do not close the database. So, okay lang. 
pero wag daw i-close itong mismong database natin or yung access so ibababa ko na uli siya ha next na po tayo mark complete na po ito so task 4 na tayo sa task 4 configure the database to auto compact when close do not close the database so ganun po uli click file tab then click option so more makikita natin yung option ayan po so in the access option pop up window in the left pane select current database same pa rin po Binit the application section, click the compact on close. Okay, nasan si compact ulit? Binit the application option. Ito po si application option. Compact to close. Asan si compact to close? Ayan, ito siya. So, iti-check daw. Okay, so nakita nyo ba to? Ito siya ha. Compact on close, chinek ko. Ayan, so okay, okay lang daw Dahil hindi ko pa rin siya makita Click ko to, top, then okay So you must close and reopen the current database Okay lang, pero hindi ko siya i-close Ayun kasi yung sabi dito sa ating instruction So mark complete Complete na tayo sa task 4 Next is task 5 Create a new table with the following fields Tracking ID Set as the primary key with a data type Of number order with a data type of number, ship data with a data type of date, name, the table shipping save as a table. Okay? So, sundan natin yung ating help button. On the create tab, in the table group, click table. On the create tab, ito yan sa ating ribbon, click table. Okay? Ayan, si table. Tapos, a new table will appear in the data sheet pane Okay, on the field tab, so ayan yung mga field tab, in the views group, click view, then select design view. Okay, design view daw. O lahat tayo marunong magpunta sa design view ha. In the save as pop-up window, name the table shipping. Then press OK. Ayan. Beneath the field name, replace ID with tracking ID. So, itong ID raw, ang kailangan pangalan niya ay tracking ID. Then, the data type, kailangan daw is auto number. Click the auto number to rebuild down arrow. Click the down arrow. Ayan. So, ang nakalagay pala, dapat number. Ayan. Okay. So, next style. Click the empty field. Ayan, ito daw po yung empty field. Ni field. Click the empty field beneath the tracking ID field and type the name order. Ayan. So, order naman yung type natin dito. Then, press the tab key. So, tab daw sa inyong mga keyboard. To move to the data type, click down arrow and select number. So, number pa din daw siya. Ayan, next next tayo is click the empty field lagi naman natin is order so pag ganyan hindi nyo makita katulad sa view ko pwede nyo po itong ayan, habaan ok so kung may order na tayo ang next na ilalagay natin ay ship date ma'am sa nyo nakita si ship date dito po siya ayan Okay, so press tab. Ayan, pagkatab ko, it, ayan, siya short text nagpunta. Palitan daw yun ng date or time. So, date or time. Ayan. At the top of the design view, right click shipping, tab, and select save. Right, the click, then save. Ayan na po. Okay, so mark completed. Next, task number 6. Ayan, on the create tab, in the queries group, click query design. So, create. Tapos, queries group. Ito siya. Yung dalawa. Tapos, click daw si query design. Ayan sabi, in the show table, pop-up window, select holiday playboards. Okay. So, select daw si holiday. Ayan. Then, add and close. Okay. So, dito na lang tayo. Ha? Si holiday playboards. So, in ko siya. Ayan. Ayan. 
in the layout pane in the holiday flavors table double click flavor id ayan po si flavor id double click ko daw yan then double click flavor to the field to add them to the design view pane below ito yung design view pane below so kinlik ko si flavor id ayan lumabas siya kiklik ko din si flavor ayan lumabas din siya so, ito siya ha. Dito sa baba ha. Hint. You can also drag or drop the fields into the design view pane. So, pwede palang i-drag to dito sa baba. Ayan. Ayan siya o. Oh, ba? Pwede ka rin mamili dyan. So, kahit hindi mo ito double click. So, on the ribbon design tab in the query type group, click append. Okay. So, punta daw dito. Tapos, ayan na si design type. Tapos, click append. In the append to pop-up window, click the table name, down the arrow, and select flavors. So, hanapin natin si flavors. Then, click OK. Ayan, na-OK na natin. So, hint, the design view pane, the field append to should display flavor ID and flavor. Okay na yun. Ito po siya. So, in the layout pane above, right-click the query 1 tab and select save. So, right-click, tapos save. In the save as pop-up window, type query name all flavors. All flavors. Then, click OK. Ayan, sabi, hint, the new query flavor should appear in the navigation pane. So, ito na siya, oh, sa left side. With the append icon to the left of the query name, if you run the query and open the flavors in the datasheet view, you should see five rows of the holiday flavor. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? So, tapos na natin ang ating task number 6. Ay, sorry. Mark for review na click ko. Dapat mark complete. Next, for the last task of project number 1. So, add the field name properly to the flavor margin queries that calculates the difference between wholesale price and cost per gallon. Save the query. Running the query is optional. So, beneath the queries section in the navigation pane. So, asan ba si query section dito sa ating navigation pane? Okay. Right click the flavor margin. So, ito si flavor margin. Tapos, design view. Ayun, sabi niya, design view daw. Next, in the design view pane, in the blank field, to the right of the wholesale. So, ito daw yun. Type the following expression. So, ito type ko daw to. Profit. Wholesale price. Minus cost per gallon. Ayan, tinipe yun. Then, press enter. Ayan. So, nung the press enter tayo, right-click the flavor margin tab. Ayan, then save. Right-click, save. So, to verify the result on the design tab, in the views, click data sheet view. So, view, data sheet view. Ayan. O, oh, ba? Meron na tayong computation. So, mark as complete. And that's all for the project number 1. So, save na natin yung ating project dito lang sa ating local. And that's it for the project number 1.